Hi guys and girls, Miss Maselli here. Today I am working in school. It, school has not started yet. Um, it is Thursday, so I figured I would take a little bit of a break um, from setting up our classroom to create a flip video for you. So today's flip video is about understanding relationships between digits and their place value. And I know we've been talking a lot about place value already throughout this week, but today really focuses on how 10 relates to place value. So as you're watching this video, I'd really like for you to pay attention to how numbers increase in value based on how they're increasing as they're multiplied by 10 throughout the place value chart. This is going to get us ready to begin multiplying by 10 and dividing by 10, which is something that we call um, an exponent. So be sure that you're paying attention to this video. You've been doing a fabulous job um, and enjoy your flip video of the night. Good luck. So the question of the day is, how does the value of a digit change as it moves up on the place value chart? You have been seeing this place value chart all week long in our math flip videos and so um, you know that we have the ones place to right here to the hundred millions place and we've really just been focusing on the millions to the ones so or the ones to the millions rather so when we have a number five and we have it here on the place value chart that five is represented by five ones and as we move up the place value chart that five increases in its value so in this lesson you will learn about the relationships between digits and their place value by using base 10 blocks and a place value chart so let's review We've been looking at these base 10 blocks also throughout the week, and we know that the ones are represented by one singular cube, and 10 ones equals a rod of 10, 10 tens equals a flat of 100, and 10 hundreds equals that larger cube of 1,000, or 1,000 individual cubes. We also need to remember that when we have one and we create a group of 10, we are multiplying by 10 in order to get those that rod of 10. So that one is multiplied by 10 to get this rod here of 10 one. Tens are 10 times larger than ones. And then if we multiply that 10 by 10, we get 100 because 100 is 10 times 10. The same thing is true if we multiply 100 by 10. We get 1,000 because 1,000 is 10 times 100. A common mistake that many students make is thinking that the number 2 in 32,586 has a place value of 2, when in reality, that 2 in 32,586 has a place value of 2,000 because it is in the thousands place. Let's take a look at 10 groups of 1,000. We know that 1,000 times 10 equals 10,000. So there are 10,000 individual ones cubes within this group of 10,000, or these 10 groups of 1,000. We notice that when we look at this number on a place value chart, and go from the thousands to the 10,000, the number gets 10 times bigger. So 10 groups of 10,000 equals 100,000. 100,000 is 10 times larger than 10,000. And if we move over one more time, we notice that 10 groups of 100,000 equals 1 million because 1 million is 10 times larger than 100,000. So each time you move across the place value chart to a higher value, the number increases times 10 or gets 10 times larger. So the question I'd like you to think about is how much is a million? Let's start with our ones. 1 times 10 equals 10. 10 times 10 equals 100. 100 times 10 equals 1,000. 1,000 times 10 equals 10,000. 10,000 times 10 equals 100,000. And 100,000 times 10 equals 1 million. So 1 million equals 10 groups of 100,000. And if you notice, 
take a look here. I have one zero here as I'm multiplying my one by 10 and my number, my product, the answer to a multiplication problem has one zero. Similarly down here, if we multiply 10 by 10, I have two zeros over here. So my product then has two zeros. So we went from one zero and now we have two zeros. Take a look, our pattern continues. I'm multiplying 100 by 10. The 100 has two zeros and the 10 has one zero. So two zeros plus one zero is three zeros and my product has three zeros. The same is true of 10,000, which has four zeros, 100,000, which has five zeros, and one million, which has six zeros. And you can see and check that our pattern continued down here as well. We have one, two, three, four, five zeros in the number 100,000, and one zero in the number 10. So we should have six zeros in the number 100,000. So as we added on a zero to our product, our number became 10 times greater. So we just looked at how the number one, what happens to the number one if we increase it by 10. Let's take a look at the number five. So just to review, if we have the number five on our place value chart and that five is in the ones place, it has a value of five. If it, the five is in the tens place, it has a value of 50. If the five is in the hundreds place, it has a value of 500. And the same thing is true of the thousands place, the ten thousands place, the hundred thousands place, and also the millions place. So let's see if increasing by 10 with the number five follows the same pattern. Five times 10 equals 50. 50 times 10 equals 500. 500 times 10 equals 5,000. 5,000 times 10 equals 50,000. And 50,000 times 10 equals 500,000. So each number is 10 times bigger. As the number increases, it shifts to the left on the place value chart. In this lesson, you've learned about the relationships between digits and their place value by using base 10 blocks and a place value chart. Let's take a look at some guided practice. How is the number 10 different from the numbers 100 and 1000? What is the relationship between 10, 100, and 100,000? One more question for guided practice. What number represents 10 groups of 600. If you get lost or still don't understand, be sure to go back and review what you learned in this video.